this every single day, every single day. So what are you doing every day to increase production? Because you're eliminating leases, you're eliminating drilling on federal land. Uh, Senator Hawley went through the litany of steps that you all have taken. And we hear from people in the oil industry about the adverse impact of your actions. So tell me what you're doing every day to increase U.S. oil production so that we return to being energy independent and energy dominant like we were the day that you went in as secretary. Yeah, we agree that we want to increase supply. It's why, for example, in the first year of the Biden administration, more permits uh, have been issued than but in the But you don't give three. the drilling permit. No, we are giving those permits. Um, we want to, and we have called How many on people are increase. working on them? Is it one? No, it's actually across the government. It's over at the Department of Interior. It's not in my, in my lane. But I do right. know that we have been increasing permitting because we want to see increased production in the United States and abroad to be able to make up for the lost barrels that have been off the market as a result of Putin's invasion of Ukraine. Ma'am, I would encourage you to stop saying, uh, saying that. We're importing 670,000 barrels of oil per day. The cost of a gallon of gas, the cost of fertilizer, the cost of diesel are at all time highs. We need your best effort. We are working and, on this well, every day to the extent we can, given that it is a global market and oil is traded is. Thank you, on Mr. a global Chairman. market. Thank you, Mr. I'm over time. We did wrong in the meltdown. Wait, you guys punished them pretty hard. And I never have been able to figure out what they did wrong in the meltdown. Uh, uh, thank you, Senator. I, I'm not aware of uh, community banks doing something wrong um, in the financial crisis. There were community so why, bank why failures. Why did y'all regulate them so much? Why did you, you why did you put the hammer down on them? I mean, it was the it was the larger financial institutions that caused the meltdown. And I might add, y'all didn't put anybody in jail but, uh, among that group. But in doing so, you, you, you really in heightened regulation on community banks. And I'm just asking what they did wrong. Were they, was that just one of those Chicago drive-by shootings or what? Uh, uh, if, if I may real quickly, Secretary Holland, I don't know. Did, did you all just put out a statement. The U.S. Department of Interior just put out a statement. And the statement basically says a proposed program is not a decision to issue specific leases or to authorize any drilling or development. This is from you all's office. So it looks like you are on to shut everything down. Did you know you all put this? I, on? I, I am. I am sorry. I, I am sitting in this hearing and and not. Well, my God! Somebody, <laughs> it shuts it down. It shows what your intent is. Yes, we can. We'll get copies for every. Basically, it says Secretary Holland provides updates on on offshore leasing program during the Senate testimony, during testimony before the U.S. Senate Committee on Energy and Natural. Resources today, Secretary of the Interior, Deb Holland, confirmed that despite delays in implementation from the previous administration, the Interior Department will release the proposed program, the next step in the five-year offshore energy planning process by June 30th, 2022, which is the expiration of the current program. A proposed program is not a decision, is not a decision to issue specific leases or to authorize any drilling or development. So they're going, we're going to do the proposal, but it doesn't guarantee they're going to do any leasing at all. Chairman, yes, what I could say is, is I, I believe what that is saying is that it's the plan that's coming out. But uh, I think what you're prefacing it by saying after you, you're, you're acknowledging the plan, you'll have a plan by June 30th, but you went further to say that doesn't mean that you're issuing any specific leases. If you have a plan, you should have. I mean, we've never done this. This is first. This is history. We've never done that before. Not list, not issue leases. If you put a plan out, the plan has always been a long-term five-year plan to lease. I I don't I don't believe that is saying that we're not going to do any of those Let things. I think it is. I think it is. Maybe I'm reading it wrong. Is, we'll get copies for everybody. I, I, I think it is saying that we're putting the plan out. But not saying with what's the intent in the not to, plan. in all honesty, it, 
I'm sorry. We're going to have to agree to disagree. I'm not going to get into di di back and forth. Yes, sir. Yeah, Senator Chairman, if I can just sort of be clear. Okay. The five-year planning process is a three-step process. The Trump administration did the first step in 2018, and then they dropped the process, largely because their energy dominance rhetoric caused a lot of alarm and caused a lot of pushback. And so it is appropriate for us to take a step, be deliberate as we think about uh, potential future leasing described in the five-year program. What that statement says is by the end of June, we'll take step number two. And it's just step number two in a three-step process. No decisions about leasing will be made until step number three. Uh, that's Mr. all that says. By all so. due respect, let me just say this. I'm told that we always got your step one, what you intend to do on June 30th, a lot longer than the deadline, a lot, a lot of time in between. We would have had time to go to step two and three and evaluate where you were going. It would have sent a clear signal that you're looking at what's going to basically provide the surety that we can continue to provide for ourselves in America, the cleanest energy coming from the Gulf. But we're getting this at the last possible day and the last possible minute knowing that there's other steps to go through gives us no security. That's all I'm saying. The timing is not right. You, you all have taken as long as you possibly could. Yeah, I hear you, Chairman. Okay. It, it is, as the Secretary said, we got a lot put into our lap that we have to sort through. I do. And I, I, including I, to calm down the American people when they put out a plan that um, caused panic in Republican states like Florida, up and down the Atlantic coast. We have to unpack all of that. Yeah. We understand that we're in challenging times right now, but right now we've got to send a clear signal that we can take care of ourselves in the United States. Uh, with that, who do we have? We just uh, Senator.